Hi, welcome to a Perkinomer video on how to maintain your high performance Pinnacle AA spectrometer. I'm Aaron Heinemann, and in this video, I will demonstrate how to remove the contact cylinders on your THGA Perkinomer furnace. This is also applicable to the HGA style furnace, however, the orientation of the contacts are slightly different. Prior to beginning, allow the system to cool, remove the graphite tube, and then turn off the gases and power to the system. The first step will be tilting the graphite furnace forward so that the cylinders are accessible. This is done by loosening the locking screw all the way. Then grasp the furnace with both hands and carefully tilt it forward until it hits the end stop. Don't allow the furnace to swing down. Next, we will remove the front contact. To do this, you will need the contact removal tool, the hex driver, and the torch driver. Loosen the two socket head screws that secure the pressure cylinder to the front contact housing. Then carefully pull the pressure cylinder out of the front contact housing. Make sure that you do not damage the O-ring. Put the pressure cylinder and screws in a safe place. Attach the removal tool to the front contact housing with the two captive screws on the tool. Use the hex driver to screw the bolt on the removal tool into the tool to push out the contact. Unscrew the two screws that secure the tool to the contact housing and remove the tool. Okay, next let's remove the rear contact. To do so, you'll need the furnace forward, and you'll need a torch driver, a pause driver, and the removal tool. Using the torch driver, unscrew the two captive socket head screws that secure the optical sensor to the rear contact housing. Carefully pull the optical sensor out of the rear contact housing. Make sure you do not damage the O-ring, and move the optical sensor to the side. Make sure that you do not bend or twist the temperature sensor connector. Also, do not damage any insulating washers. Using the pause drive screwdriver, remove the screw that holds that temperature sensor in place. Now, attach the removal tool to the rear contact housing with the two captive screws on the tool. Use the hex driver to screw the bolt on the removal tool into the tool to push out the contact. And then unscrew the two screws that secure the tool to the contact housing and remove the tool. Now your contact cylinders can be replaced. Ensure that you clean the contact housing before you reinstall any new contacts. Your manual and these how-to videos are great resources to get familiar with the AA system. For more in-depth information or additional training options, please reach out to your Perkinomer representative. Thank you.